we're going to try to make chocolate and churros at home. But when the number one chocolatier of Spain, Valor, has a cafe one block away from our city apartment and right in front of the Mediterranean, I thought it'd be a really good idea to do some research so that I'll know just what to do to try to duplicate them. So let's dip in and learn how the experts do it. Mm. Mm. Light, tender, little bit of crunch, and a whole bunch of thick, rich chocolate sauce. Well, I'll never master this technique at home, but let's see how close we can get in the kitchen. In a medium-sized stock pot set over medium-high heat, add five tablespoons of mild extra virgin olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half tablespoons of granulated sugar, and one cup of water. Add a little flavor with two teaspoons of vanilla extract and let this come to a rolling boil before we add the flour. Now turn down the heat to low, add in one cup of flour, and start stirring. It's going to take a little arm power to do, but pretty soon we'll have a nice smooth paste. It should look just like this, nice and smooth. And then we add three whole eggs and one egg yolk to the mix and again start stirring. This part's going to take some time until you get it smooth and silky like this. Now take a large pastry bag fitted with a star-shaped tip and fill it to the brim. I've heated one liter of sunflower oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit because it's the perfect fry temperature. It means the churros will be crispy on the outside, they won't retain a lot of oil, and they'll be chewy on the inside. My batter is a lot more liquid than many recipes you'll see, but I like it like this because I can make all these fun squiggly churro shapes instead of the straight sticks, and I think it makes a great party platter. While the churros are still hot, let's dust them with some granulated sugar. And if you'd like, add a little cinnamon to that sugar for a special touch. We're almost done with the first part, so now we gotta go out and go on the hunt for some great chocolate. I can almost guarantee you're not going to find displays like this outside of Spain, but chocolate chips and heavy cream in the microwave does almost the same job. I'm sticking with the traditional whole milk and Valor's hot cocoa mix because I know exactly what I'm going to get when it's done. And it'll be nice, smooth, creamy, and super thick. Perfect for churros. Now here comes my favorite part, the taste test, so we can see exactly why chocolate and churros are such a perfect pairing. So now it's time to click on this playlist for more Mediterranean treats from Spain. <music> 